listen, consistency builds listeners. Everybody's got to, everybody compares himself to Joe Rogan, but you got to think Joe Rogan's like on episode 1890. Like, bro, we're on like 45. Right. That's years, <laughs> years away. Yeah, it takes, it takes work. We already knew going into this, like the first two years, perhaps we're going to be like, yo, we're putting in work There's and we're probably going to get nothing out of it. Until we establish Dude, we're, a year, we're a year into it, and we're still having fun. There's yeah. there's few people that have been doing it as long as Joe Rogan. Um, Leo Laporte mm-hmm. is one. Um, Adam Curry, mm-hmm. he's a big, you know, he he he's part of the creation of the protocol and all that. But there's not too many people that have been in it for that long. Yeah. Consistently, yeah. some well, people have back and forth, and but like honestly, like them three. They were saying Joe is like has more listeners than CNN. He does. <laughs> yeah, oh, he does. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yo, millions more. Yeah, <laughs> by a lot. Let's, 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 we can talk about it in the podcast. Welcome to the Sofa Kingdom podcast, where we have a pre-podcast before the podcast. Yeah, I am one of your hosts, Nelson. <laughs> I am another one of your hosts, Ian. Ed. Oh, all right. So the two important hosts, and then. The most, the, the most, the most important. <laughs> he, he gave me a look like, that's it. He's like, that's say, it. He's say, like fucking say, say it. Say I'll, it. I'll shut your fucking mouth. That's right. <laughs> me and Ian will be in 4K. What was that? What was that? you will be in dirt. Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> we can fix it in post. Oh, that's some bullshit. <laughs> you know what? Just as long as you don't make me look like. Fuck it. We'll do it live. Yeah, right, yeah. The, the Rob Zombie Monsters movie? I'm okay. Oh, oh my God. That, <laughs> Ed's like, I want to fuck you so bad. The editing process. The editing of this is going to be Nothing boring. is going to fuck me harder than if I went to watch the Rob Zombie Monsters movie. I didn't, I didn't even know it was a movie. I thought it was just going to be a remake of the TV show. Super I, campy. Super cheesy. Looks fucking awful. I didn't know what I thought, and I'm I, I'm a, I've been a fan of Rob since his white zombie days like when he was in a ah, band. Please yeah, do and, music again, sir. Yeah, and I'm like, dude, what are you doing? Like, this what looks the fuck. Are you doing so <laughs> horribly I, I, bad, dude? It it's rough. It like, is it, like the the trailer had fucking nothing. Yes. Nothing. It had terrible makeup. Mm-hmm. Like they look awkward and clunky. Yep. And like they're even bringing back like the old school sounds. Like yes. the shit that you used to hear when it was made but they in mi- black and white. But they missed the mark. Like oh, the yeah. comedy just, if, it, yeah. if they're going for comedy, that shit just falls. It looks dead. so, so much like the original style that it, it, it looks forced. Right. Like they're really trying hard to bring back the original black and white style of slapsticky comedy, but it doesn't work anymore. No. When you differ from. What got you to where you are? Like, like, like Rob Zombie is a horror guy. Even mm-hmm. in his music, it's shock rock. It's like horror yep. themed. Everything he does is horror. And like House of a Thousand Corpses, Devil's Reject. Right. They weren't bad movies because he stuck to his thing. He stuck right. to like, like what if um who's he's guy? way out of his comfort zone. We saw what happened saying. when Sam Raimi made a Marvel movie. Right. Yeah. Everyone was like, "What the hell?" Like, it's, it's still Doctor Strange, but what the hell? Like, right. that, you know, the only the only person that could have. The only hero you could have used in a Sam Raimi movie was Doctor Strange. Right. <laughs> if, you, if you did a Captain America movie with Sam Raimi, that shit would have felt yeah, so I, I got to say, there's no, something to be said about allowing new directors to come in and take big swings, right? There's risks, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. A big swing could be a big payoff, or it could be something that's a tremendous mess. And this, to me, looks like a fucking shit show. Yeah, it looks it's... like a really bad rendition of a classic show that... Even in its heyday, when it was black and white and campy, was still kind of funny, yeah. right? It was kind of like honeymooners funny, like mm-hmm. well, you know, like wasn't it put out? I'm, I'm trying. Someone has to. I don't know which one was first, but wasn't that put out as like a counter to the Adams family, or the Adams family was a counter to the monsters? Because I know they were around similar times. I do not. I know, know what you're talking about, but I don't know which one was, was first. first. They're both right. black. I'll, I'm, I'm on it. But well, they're I'll doing. Go. They're doing an Adams family. Well, the Wednesday is. Is she getting her own show? Is that what it is? I don't know. No, it's I, Thursday, it, Eddie. It, it, no, 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 it's Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> it'd be no, 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 it's literally Thursday. But well, it'd be hard, it'd be hard, it'd be hard I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. Character it's, it's, is Wednesday. Right. <laughs> who's, who's on first? Yeah. <laughs> but they had they had uh, a remake attempt for a TV show a little while ago where they updated it and they had brought um, at least at the time it was more up to date graphics, more up to date with the humor. And in color and everything like that, and they only ever released the pilot of it, right? Because um, it didn't do well. Nobody really wanted to yeah. see it. Like I watched the pilot, I enjoyed it for what it was, but it, it, it was again, it was like 
I can't see this working long term. Yeah. And, and the same thing with this, where when we were watching the the trailer, I you said it was a movie. I originally thought it was like a, a series of where I was like, I don't see them trying to do that that style of television yeah. show again. Yeah. Like the audience is holy shit, they half just, gone. They, they came out at the same time. Really? Yeah, they were literally like a battle between networks. Like, uh, they, oh, so it was kind of like uh, WCW and yeah, WWF. Yeah, like at the yeah. same exact time. <laughs> or kind of like that, like, obvi- like, like Bewitched and I Dream of Genie are obvious, uh, like, yes. yeah, obvious yeah, yeah, yeah. rip-offs of each other. Like yeah. one wiggles her nose and the other one does, does something. All right, so then let's settle this, boys. Bewitched or I Dream of Genie? Who was hotter? Genie. Genie. <laughs> Me personally, I, I don't know. I, I'd have to see some photos I, to, to recall... Specifically, oh, that sounds like a cop out. I'm going. Be- no, no, genie. I know Eddie's I a a cop out. I'm saying it, we 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 went full genie. Did you go genie? <laughs> we went full genie, bro. It was that full outfit. Genie. Oh, genie blinked. Yes, genie yeah. crossed her arms and she blinked. Yeah, whereas yeah, the girl bob- from the witch like would wiggle her nose. Did a little nose twitch. Yeah, yeah. go to a little head bobby bob. What do you mean? Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. No, no. I like the outfit. I like the outfit personally. No, no, no. For me, hard pass. Not gonna see it. Don't care about it. I'm just I'm just really wondering who greenlit it and when did Rob Zombie lose the bet to put his wife in the movie? Well the mm. fucked up thing is is Rob usually produces his own shit, so I think he might be the hype man behind this. I, I believe it said written and directed by. I don't know if he's All right. a producer as well. It's very plausible he is I as hope well. Not. <laughs> yeah. But it, I mean someone has a, to tell you no. That's a Universal point. Studios or like um, franchise or well, Universal you want to call has it, like been dying to reboot their monster movie universe mm-hmm. to, to and bring it back to what it previously was because at one point that was kind of like the first integrated universe. They had all the movies individually and then they did like a crossover style movie, um, but the, it kind of ended there. Well, they're missing the mark here. But they 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 they, Tremendous they retried first with the Mummy rebooting that and that was an absolute failure yeah um and and it, it actually failed so hard they went back to to the beginning mm-hmm. to to restart the whole thing again again right. is that the one with tom cruise correct yeah. didn't see instead it. of just taking <laughs> the brendan fraser one which was excellent yes right. and and working off of that but to be fair brendan fraser as beloved as he is is in no physical condition or shape to be running around playing because in any kind of, of the movie. mummy movies, the man got hurt because of those movies. Ah, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> Hire a stunt double, bitch. Good, 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 good cop, bad cop. <laughs> <laughs> he's still playing in the Doom Patrol, and I think he's doing a fucking great job. Oh, he's doing excellent. Granted, he's just a voice in the show. Yeah, he could do the same thing in the mummy. Just put him in a mummy rap. <laughs> and uh, have him voice over from there. It's some kind so of he a fucking curse. He wasn't the mummy. <laughs> he was it's the like, hero. Well, he, he was the protagonist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to help these people. I'm thinking like... He's even, trying to help you, Brent. Yeah. Even for the monsters, I don't want to see that old school campy style of comedy. It just doesn't hit anymore. Well, if we're gonna do they're going to have to make it hit a lot better than the trailer. Because yeah. if they release it with that, with that that's going to suck. I mean, that's look. going to yeah. be a pile of but shit. But usually, isn't the trailer made to sell the show? Didn't sell nothing. It, it didn't yeah, sell it nothing. Generally, it that's, the, opposite that's the idea. But that one really, at least to me, it, it didn't sell me it. But I well, will... he's made steaming piles of shit before. Yes. As a Rob Zombie fan... Lords of Salem was a pile of shit. Right. I mean, he swings. It had nothing. He swings. Yeah. It was it was literally <laughs> yeah. It was literally a movie just to put his wife on screen. I, I watched it and I said, This this sucks. Yeah. Like there's nothing here for me. I don't now, now screaming of huge piles of shit. Um <laughs> let, let's let's go into another trailer that I'm skeptical about. Loved the director, loved Jay and Silent Bob, Clerks oh. Three. I'm yeah, scared be, for it. That'll be a problem. Because <laughs> Clerks to me was a classic, like yes. Mole Rats, Jane Silent Bob, Chasing Amy, even Jersey Girl. Dogma. <laughs> Dogma. 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 Movies that fucking love were Dogma. fucking great. They spoke to a generation. Um, I want him to succeed. I want it to be funny. A lot of the old cast. Matt is Damon back. and Ben Affleck were like angels that were sent to Earth yeah, to destroy. Yeah. <laughs> George Carlin was a cardinal. 
Well, that, that, Chris, that, Rock was the, <laughs> Chris Rock that was movie, the apostle nobody talked yes. about. Alanis like, like was God. Apostle, yeah. That movie was fucking perfect. Dogma's one, like Dogma is severely no, okay. underrated. Listen, severely. Sal- Salma Hayek. What did she play? She was like a uh, the muse. The muse. The muse. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The movie was. She can be my muse. Anyway. Fantastic. And anytime oh, I come across somebody who has not seen Dogma, I'm like. Your Hold childhood up. was fucked up. Yeah, you need like, to see how this. did you Hold not up. see that shit? Because it was fucking great. Buddy Jesus? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One of the greatest you, statues ever. You still see them floating around. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. people have stolen his Buddy Jesus ideal. Oh. Listen, why not? You know what? I got to get a Buddy Jesus for this house. <laughs> we need a Buddy Jesus for the background. It, Goddamn it. right. It'll be interesting to see what he does. This is... At this point, he's come full circle. Right. So this is him almost going back to telling... The stories of him and his friends, because the original Clerks movie was literally him telling a story in the place, like in the quick stop and the movie place right. where him and his friends all worked and all that other nonsense. So this is coming back around to, to kind of that chunk of story. There's even you can see the storyline about um, it's the a character about a movie. having a right. heart attack, which mm-hmm. plays off of him actually having a heart attack and all that. So well, that's funny stuff. So yeah. it'll, it, it, it'll be it, way it'll, to go, Kevin. wholesome humor. Yeah, way to go, Kevin. Tell us about your prostate exam. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, man. Come or on. Not, or not, don't dare the man. Yeah. Make a whole do movie. Make a man. whole movie he, about your asshole. He can do it. He will. He can do Ask it. Ask him a question. He'll, he'll turn it into a fucking comedy special. Yeah. <laughs> and look, for real, like, I love his podcast, love his commentary. He's a huge part of nerd culture. Um, I'm just hoping that it isn't dog shit because when I went into watching um, the reboot for Jane Silent Bob, I was utterly disappointed. And as a fan who sat down willing to watch it and have a good time, <laughs> it was virtually unfucking watchable. It was, it was an hour and a half of fan service. So I did finish watching it. I watched it. I enjoyed it. It wasn't his best work, but it really was a movie that was. Uh, almost an entire callback to all of his movie career. But it was a parody of a parody. Yes, that but that 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 was essentially some, the point of the movie. That's some, I, that's some, I, that's I, some, <laughs> but it still has to be funny. That's some inception. Shit. Right? <laughs> yeah, he really he really went when and he stuck to it, making a parody of a parody. Right, but you still need to be funny. You have to deliver the jokes. It's the same thing we're saying about the monsters. I would watch something, I would give it a shot. But it doesn't look funny. It doesn't look to deliver on the funny. And for me, I'm a skeptic on this one. <laughs> Clerks 3 is still up in the air for me. Speaking of skeptical shit, but at least a ray of light in the dark, uh, the Lord of the Rings final trailer Ooh, is out. Yes. The Rings yeah, of Power. Yeah, yeah, and I'll yeah. say this. It looks good. I'm with it. It looks good. It looks Vi- like I mean, they, looks visually, like, yeah. visually, it looks stunning like the movies. It does. And that is does. that is a high bar to hit because those movies were kind of like a first for that very wide open cinematic, yeah. you know, view. The Lord of the Rings, where, the Fellowship of the Ring was where like it the was first like, time come yeah. to New Zealand. Yeah, what's <laughs> the Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring was like the first time like fans of the book saw an actual film about yeah. the the Tolkien media. done properly. It yeah. was amazing. It was, like, and they did it. They couldn't have did it better. I mean, yeah. shit. Like, Listen, when you put Ian, three and Ian a half, McClellan was Gandalf. When you put three <laughs> and a half hours on a movie time and people are lining up to see it, you know yeah. you did something right. Well, they made extended, like I think there's extended, extended versions that people are still like, we'll take more. Oh yeah. no, I've seen <laughs> the Lord of the Rings, the original trilogy, mm-hmm. bro, at the, the least. Return? Three or four times each movie. No, I, I think extended. The Return of the King. No, 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 the Return no. of the King extended cut is like five hours long. Yeah, no, oh, no I've seen them, bro. Yeah. I, and they're fantastic. Yeah, they really are. They're not Schneider cuts. No, no these are masterpieces. No. No. I I've thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. The Return of the King won like eleven Academy Awards. It's yeah. like tied for the greatest movie of all time. The only problem I have with the trailer, and it's a small one, is that in Elvish mythology, they are told to be beautiful creatures. I had not seen one beautiful elf in this trailer. <laughs> the girl they were was all okay. pretty fucking the, ugly. The girl was no, okay. no, no, no. You can't be okay and an elf. You gotta be a dimey dime. You gotta be a ten. Hey, they a have to be woke. They a stunner. Woke. They have to be woke. Nah, song. fuck that woke, woke shit. No, no. Bring in the hotness. <laughs> wait, about, wait if Val Kilmer comes out as an elf. <laughs> Maybe they're taking the, uh, the British route. They're going for 
acting class first overlooks. Does you know I what explain, I say to that? Does I explain why Quentin Tarantino's big forehead <laughs> son is an elf? Just kidding. That, just kidding. That man is a clone of Quentin he, Tarantino. He looks like yeah, Quentin Tarantino sure. in like in like the seventies. He can absolutely sure. play. He, he can actually. He can absolutely be in a biopic of Quentin Tarantino and play Quentin. Yes. But instead, I believe they made him an elf. <laughs> yep, they made him an elf. <laughs> I am mad at it that. It looks good though. The it trailer does. has it darkness. Great. It's got magic. We saw some orcs on a bridge. Yeah, we saw little furry hooded footed hobbits running around. Yes, and shit. we saw dwarves. Yes, it's got everything. It's got men. Yeah. harvesting the wheat. I mean, yeah, shit. and it looks like they're gonna do more with the dwarves, which I hope they do because I I, love, I love the dwarves. The only thing I didn't like in the second set of trilogies racist little furry dudes is the fucking the singing. <laughs> we don't. I know hey, dwarves they sing. sing. They I know dwarves man. sing, but I don't need to see it. You know what I mean? It's kind of like it's, it's like watching a train wreck. <laughs> it, just, just, <laughs> fade to black. Fade to black. In the main, <laughs> in, in the main canon, do the elves warn the other kings that the rings are essentially a trap? I'm do, sure, do we I'm know? Sure that, do sure we they, know if they do in the main canon? I don't I'm, know. I'm sure they probably tried to, but men being men, they're yeah. Like, but the rings of power, power. Yeah. No, because the because the elves the key word here, power. Yeah, because the elves <laughs> figure it out word. and they make their own rings that take advantage of the rings of power. Yes. Without the drawbacks, and that's why they live as like their a, societies essentially live as long as they do. Like Galadriel's Ooh. wing, ring, ring, like ring that controls all the wind and shit like that. Like she can have gusts of wind destroy yeah. cities. Yeah. Their, their societies nice. lasted as long as they did. Well, two of the three. Whereas the men Be, turn, based, turn into the nine ring Based rings. off the power because they use the power <laughs> of Meridians. the ring without the drawbacks by making their own. The My question do? is, did the elves just leave everyone else to fucking be destroyed by these things? Probably. Or did they actually try to help? In, in, in the short amount of time we've seen the trailer, we could see a country divided, so to speak. It looked yep. like the elves were taking care of the elves and like, fuck them. The dwarves are taking care of the dwarves. Fuck them. Humans yep. taking care of the humans. So well, with that being said, I believe that Yes, even if someone has a warning that it's a bad thing, they're gonna keep it to themselves because they're gonna be like, "We don't interfere with <laughs> the troubles with of man." Lesser <laughs> beings. Well, that's kind of how yes. it goes. Like, like yeah. the, dwar- like, the dwar- like that's how historically it went. The elves went into the west. The right. men kind of inherited the earth, and then the dwarves went to Jersey. All right, another question then. <laughs> to Jersey. <laughs> <Fuck>. <laughs> that's where they settled. Would you, if you were forced to? Oh no. Marry a dwarf with a full on beard. Woman dwarf. Yeah, that they do. They have the, full on beards. I'm not and I'm not talking about actual dwarves, my friends. I'm talking about <laughs> Mordor dwarves. <laughs> Axes. There's no dwarves in Mordor. <laughs> <laughs> Are you talking about orcs? <laughs> What's the ultimatum what's, here? Like, what's so, the difference? Because you're making option here. A sound really fucking bad. Well, the bad. difference is one is four foot tall, 300 pounds yeah. of muscle with a beard, and a woman, and the other one is six foot tall, razor sharp teeth, okay. and used to be All an right. elf. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> what's the ultimatum here? We have dwarves and Dwarves what? or orcs. Would you go dwarf? <laughs> I'm fucking Or it. orc. I'm going dwarf. As <laughs> miserable going. as that would be. <laughs> Like, because that'd be like taking down like a Canadian lumberjack chick who's, a, who's an arm wrestling champion. Oh, shit. But, and, not, yeah, who I got, the hell's going to say I got to go with the power lifter also. Yeah. <laughs> who the hell is going to sit in this chair and say they're going to tag orc pussy? Right, who guys, is going to do that? I'm it's going, cursed dark listen, magic pussy. You I'm can't go, do that. I'm going in. I'm going in. I'm what go, do you mean? I'm going elf. <laughs> That's not an option. I'm not questioning an option. option. Oh, shit. I just threw it on the table. <laughs> See that shit? You guys he has are me and you over here. <laughs> double team with Lord. And he's fucking over Oh, I forgot about the elf. Oh, I forgot about the model. You guys are I forgot about the tall, <laughs> slender, beautiful <laughs> model that stays young forever. Elf, orc, and dwarf. And you guys pick dwarves? <laughs> you nasty fuckers. Hey, man. I mean, that's handy in your life. <laughs> yeah. Good luck getting that shit back in one Nobody's, piece. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody is fucking Those bitches work. is working Nobody. the mines. Dog. Nobody's fucking They're working work. the mines. Yeah, they all work in the mines. <laughs> yeah. Yikes. <Woo. laughs> no, no thanks. Nobody's going to sit here. Well, I mean, if anyone out there hey, w- was tagging orc, please <laughs> leave it in the comments. Let us know I've why. Seen, what are you thinking? I've like, seen some of your girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> you, you've been going orc for quite some time. Yeah, orc is rough. Orc would be rough. Orc is, There's uh, no hygiene in Mordor. No. So, or let, Moria. so let me ask no. you, as a huge Lord of the Rings fan, is there anything you would like to see um, in this in this show? Show, yeah, yeah. 
I mean, dive more into some of the creatures and stuff that got left mm, out. The like mythical there, creatures. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff <laughs> yeah. that, that, okay. that gets left out. In Origin magic. of the Balrog. Yeah, well, the Balrog's so Well, they're, they're, they have to leave. So it's like Dawn of Time. <laughs> that would one be one of the things Tolkien did well was give you an answer, but not all of the answer. So mm. you, he always left a little mystery to the imagination. behind everything. Okay. So you could always find a further explanation and always left the door open for more to be there. So that, that as long as they could keep that as they're going into yeah. explaining... Because uh, they're going to have to be explaining some of the backstory and sure. some more of the world to do this show. Yeah, because the oldest stuff in Tolkien mythology, like in the origins of Middle Earth, is the Fae. Like yeah. The fairies were like the first during the creation of the world. But, like if you go back like into the, the mythology of it, I mean, people make a big deal about how strong the Balrog was when he fought Gandalf. Right. And how like crazy the dragon Smog was in The Hobbit. Right. The army that destroyed the first great elven city... Like, the, the army that destroyed the first great elven city was made up completely of Balrogs and dragons. Oh. <laughs> like, okay, hold on. Like, an hold arm, on. And, no, now, that's I'm, what I want to see. I'm, I'm talking about Balrog infantry, okay? <laughs> like, Yo. So, that, you, okay, if, you try okay. to, if you try to visualize, like, like Morgoth's army, it's, yeah. you can't. Like, that's fucking Like, sick. people, like, the the, the spider, Shelob, that, fro that uh, was it Frodo or was it Bilbo? Frodo had the deal. Frodo. With, Frodo and Sam had the deal with Frodo Shelob. Frodo and Sam Wise Game. Yes, they had the deal yeah. with Shelob. There was some spider. I'm trying to think of its name, but it's in. The, it was in Morgoth's. Once again, Morgoth's army. Mm -hmm. It was the size of a city. Yeah. Like there, there are things. There are things in Middle Earth mythology that blow your freaking mind. Like this so, is a spider so that, that used to feed on dragons. Amazing. So it, yeah. it'll be interesting because because yeah. you have to like uh, you have to think at depending on where they're the 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 how they're placing this time period. The elves should almost be more advanced back then than they are in the future movies, yeah. because they 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 live so long and then they end up extending their ability to live with their rings of powers that they use, and they fall into a level of complacency, and then they start lacking on innovation, so and like they almost idiosyncrasy kind of a deal, idi idiocracy, idiocracy, where they idiocracy, almost yeah. they almost <laughs> bred out. Um, their ability to to innovate, right? Because they fell into a place of they were so comfortable, right, and so well taken care of that they never really had to do anything. That they they no longer had almost that inspiration to do more than what so they were just it's doing. Almost as if they built smartphones, and then the people that built the smartphones died off, yeah. <laughs> and well, nobody knew how to fix hey, them. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> Yes, but no, because the, the kings from back then were still the kings in the future movies because that's mm. how long they live. That's so the people, the, the main, three of the main in charge from back from the rings should be the, the same as from the movies, if, if I'm remembering it correctly. Right. So technically, half, like, I think their council is like eight people or something like that. But, like, three of the councils should be from back then. So that's how long that they live. Because technically they're immortal. Right. They don't die. They just grow weary right. with living, essentially. And then they move on to you know, the I'm West sure. and they, they, whatever happens there, they kind of die, reborn, and become fully immortal. It, they got a whole weird yeah. thing with the elves. Anyone okay. wondering the name of the giant spider? It's Ungoliant the Gloom Weaver. <laughs> <laughs> Say that three times yeah. fast. Very, yeah. very happy, very happy sounding character there. It, so. I, I'm it, looking forward to it as a whole. I th I'm hoping they deliver on storyline They have content. a they have tremendous, the ability to do so. They have a tremendous legacy to not fuck up. If but they, they also they have the budget up, to match it, right? If they fuck yeah. this up, it'll be the great fuck up. It'll be the oh. greatest of fuck ups. They got that Jeff Bezos. <laughs> they got that Jeff Bezos space money. Though. Jeff, so, Jeff I mean, Bezos <laughs> said, and I quote: "I am prepared to throw a billion dollars at mm -hmm. this show to make it the next Lord of the Rings." You, fuck you, yeah. Well, I mean, he started with selling books. It might have been his favorite author. Yeah. Or it, he also recognizes that there is room for great franchises, and with unfortunately nope. some of the luster of the phase four phase five marvel being lost a little bit because i think there's so much content out there people are thinking like okay now's the time to kind of slip in like star trek's been stepping it up Bro, yep. the lord the of the rings is stepping the it superhero up superhero market exploded mm -hmm. after marvel did what it did yeah now you now invincible is out now the boys is out now the umbrella academy is out mm -hmm. the, the, 
everyone's taking a shot at. DC right. was like, we got to get in on this, and they continue to fuck it up, which we will address more later. Right. Um, but no, like, yeah, Game of Thrones, the fall of Game of Thrones left a void. There, there's it a, left a hole for uh, fantasy fans. It yes. has um, not been filled yeah. yet. In the last, like, five to ten years, there's been a massive uptick in taking IPs from comics and books, because a lot of the shows you might not even know are from somewhere else. They're just taking the source material yes, and right. then they're building off of that. So it, it, it's, it has a, it, it's one of those, well, you got a proven story that people love. Right. Can you translate it to the screen? Right. Which is much less worrisome than when they're trying to come with something new, which is why you see so many things that like, well, here's an author that people love. They're buying all the books. Let's just, let's just buy that and put yeah. that up there. Right. Yeah. Cause I mean, Game of Thrones had that fantasy sword and sorcery type thing, and yeah. it was like the gold standard for years. And it's like, okay, this is it. And now that it's gone, I mean, Amazon's doing the best job, though, with Vox Machina, mm-hmm. with um, what's the, the Wheel, Wheel of, of Time. Yeah. The Wheel of Time is fantastic. Yep. I mean, Netflix is trying with like Vikings Valhalla and mm-hmm. things like that, and they're, they last Kingdom, the last season, yep. season stuff. They're trying to. I disagree the, with the last Kingdom. The last Kingdom, last season. Was, <laughs> yeah. God, God damn it! Was so Vikings Valhalla was great. A marvelous <laughs> it was, show. It was fantastic. Great. It was great. The last Kingdom, the last season. Yeah, it fell flat for me too. Yeah, I wasn't, well, I, I, think, wasn't, I, I wasn't happy. I, I think, lie. and that's why I was saying the thing about like if fantasy becomes what um, Prime Video does, because Netflix they've established themselves as like. The everything we yeah. do, everything. everything. Anime. They Carlos. don't have. No, they don't have a like a singular focus of an area. Where like Disney has like we have the family shows. Right. Your whole house can just watch these. Right. We are but the don't house. Watch Multiverse of Madness. Yeah. I was gonna say just, <laughs> just throw on the Punisher yeah. episode one. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> we, they like we're Gather Marvel. The kids around the house. Uh, yeah. We're Marvel. We're Star Wars. We're Disney movies. No, That's right. what we have. But you're right. They have huge franchises. So Netflix has like a, a I think a bit of a, a bigger uphill battle of they were established as like everything because they were the big dog streamer. They had all the content. Although but, Netflix, there's a movie they just came out with. It just dropped on Netflix. It's called Sea Beast. Mm. It's, it's from the same studio that made Big Hero 6 and Moana for Disney. Hmm. Good. It's as good as any animated film that Disney has put out in the last five years. Interesting. Yes. I haven't even heard of it. It's and I, It came out of nowhere. Mm. It's got the guy from um, The Boys. The guy who plays Billy Butcher. He yep. voices okay. one of the main characters in it. It's fantastic. He, it's a, he's a great character. It's a boys. fictitious fantasy <laughs> world where the number one concern <laughs> in the world is giant sea monsters. Okay. <laughs> All right. Great, it's, it's, I literally dove right into it. I was like, this is fucking awesome. I, I wish it was a video game. <laughs> some oh, some of Netflix's issue is really they have so much content they can't promote it all. Right. And and you know what? They do a good job putting it out. But even sometimes they miss the mark. Yeah. And uh, one of the movies that we touched on a trailer a couple of episodes back um, that fell short in my book was The Man from Toronto. Now Saw the trailer. The trailer looked good. But it looked great. Reviews, not so much. And it just, it was okay. It wasn't a, a terrible watch. But it was very generic, um, not v- incredibly inventive, and um, and I, I I watch a lot of Marvel and sci-fi, so the the realm of <laughs> impossible things is not beyond me. But I'm like, you're taking like what is essentially an exercise guru, and then having him fight like trained mercenary killers alongside <laughs> Woody Harrelson for their to fight for their lives. I'm like, you know. Even but I, I mean, can't believe that. Half shit, of the trailers you know? we watch today, you would just look at them and go, "That's generic." Mm-hmm. There's a lot of like, you watch the trailer and you're like, "I don't see anything in here that feels unique and worth my time." Word, word. I agree. And in a land of so much content, you really have to pick and choose what you're going to sit down and watch. Yeah. Well, yeah. You because can, you, you can. can. You can pretty much tell off a trailer. It's yeah. Like, it's like every time we take out of the movies, he just goes, he, he verbalizes <laughs> it. He says. Not seeing that. Yeah. <laughs> no. yeah. Listen, that that theater was so silent that everyone can hear me barely whisper that, and they were all fucking thinking it. Yeah. They were all thinking it, because not a single person was like, oh, no. There wasn't a groan or nothing. Everyone was like, eh, That's shit. Yeah. Seems about right. Pretty <laughs> shitty. Yeah. Well, it's like Jurassic World. Yeah. As soon as, uh, as soon as I saw the trailer for Jurassic World, I was like, ha, ha. I really, I really, not want, taking my money. I really wanted to see it only because of Jeff Goldblum. 
I really feel like Jeff Goldblum not is a even national he. treasure. Not even he. But he couldn't that. even bring me in no. to see just to see the this. original cast. Wasn't the yes. guy the, the guy uh, Doctor Grant yes. was in Thor: Love and Thunder? He was. He played Odin <laughs> in the play. He, he played Odin in the play, which was better. Than probably Jurassic all of World. his Jurassic World <laughs> acting. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was a bigger payoff, I'm sure. Mm. Um, no, but you know, uh, let's see. Another trailer that uh, the we patient? watched was The Patient. Now that looks interesting. Something that I didn't know I wanted to watch, but I will say, huge fan of Steve Ther- Carell. Therapy and, going and as looks a like whole. a very serious role for Steve. Yes, which he Who, does well. He does excellent. Very, Bro, he does. He the does fox catcher, the fox, deadpan, oh, very well, Bro, and he Car- does that very serious role. Steve Carell was disturbing in the fox catcher, and at like, first, I, I didn't even know it was him, dude. I was like, this isn't yeah. funny at all. Like, this is like, wow, it's <laughs> dark, <laughs> it's wow. dark. Yeah, dude. If he wasn't nominated for something for that, he definitely fucking should. have I believe that. he was because that movie was fantastic. That was uh, Channing Tatum and um, oh my god, Mark Ruffalo. Yeah, they played. Uh, they played. Oh my god, why can't I can't think of their names. The wrestlers. The wrestler, yeah, they were Olympic wrestlers, both of them. Ambiguously gay duo. That's who they played. Yes. The <laughs> That's a different group of wrestlers. A different, group. <laughs> different, different type of wrestlers. Those men are well oiled. <laughs> um, no. Yes. But the the patient. It looks like he's a therapist, and he has somebody that's coming to him for help, who looks like he's a serial killer who kidnaps Steve Carell, to use as his therapist for private therapy. For yeah, very private therapy, dungeon therapy in his home where he's also killing people. Ah, the Schultzes, Mark Schultz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those and, guys. Yes, Your brother Dave. Yes, yes. That was that was that was. So, so the premise of of of, and it looks the like patient. it's a TV show, not even a movie. No, yeah. it definitely, it's a Netflix. Um, FX. FX, FX and FX Hulu. TV show. It streaming on Hulu. Wh- yeah. Which which really makes it interesting because then then you have. Plenty of time to tell what looks like a very dark story. It's yeah. definitely a psychological. Uh, I think there's at show. least three dead people by the end of that trailer. Yeah, yeah. and one of them being an infant, I believe. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, that's pretty dark. Yeah. Little little fun known fact about uh, Channing Tatum's character in the Foxcatcher. Yes. Mark Schultz. Yes. He's actually one and zero in the UFC. Really? He had one UFC fight. But didn't they show him lose no, he, that fight? He uh no in the Foxcatcher? No. They, they they led up Oh to, no, they they changed the fighter they, they, he was fighting. Yeah, they didn't show the MMA fight. Yeah, it was supposed to be Big Daddy Goodrich. Yeah, it was supposed yes. to be Big Daddy Goodrich. And they, it was but, somebody else. I tell you what, he would have beat Big Daddy Goodrich too. He was, was an Olympic gold medalist. It was clearly not <laughs> big serious. Very clearly not Big Daddy Goodrich. No, Mark, yeah. <laughs> Mark Mark Schultz was an animal. He right. was an animal. He was Olympic what gold about medalist. if they impromptu brought in Steven Seagal? I mean, oh, yeah. that I mean, could have well, been a problem. I mean, oh, it could that's have a problem, been. man. It could have been, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <I> mean, fuck. <laughs> Even if they let Steven Seagal, they're like, bring all your prayer beads into the <laughs> ring. Wear whatever shades you would like. I would, I would finish this sun chip. That, that, <laughs> finish this beer. I would finish this sun chip. <laughs> I would get up out of this chair and I'd beat the shit out of Steven Seagal. <laughs> God, I hate that fucking there, there are so many videos of the... Uh, Gurus, yes, doing MMA oh, I and just those getting McDojos. pummeled. There was one that I just seen recently of a lady who said she could create a force field around her. I posted uh, that. Yeah, I was here. Oh, oh my god, and she got tackled. <laughs> she got like dude, water boy dude, tackled, dude ran bro. Right into her. Like he ran full speed and planted his shoulder into her mouth. The only thing like, that would have made that video better is if he would have yelled, "No mercy." <laughs> 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 just fucking steamroller. I love, I love when they, they say they can create like a like a barrier oh, and they just get punched. Right in the oh face. yeah, like, yeah. Where was your barrier? Yeah, them. Like, the guy the that's doing this. And, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's just yeah. getting lit. Hang on. Up. Okay. Yeah, hang yeah. on. One more. Yeah, at some again. point, I believe even like the camera guy was like, he's had enough. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah please, please. For the love of enough. God, stop punching him. This right? man is gonna sit here through that barrage. <laughs> He will stand behind his technique till he's dead. He has learned his lesson, I assure you. <laughs> well, he, what's amazing is he, how many hits they take before they learn their lesson. Because it's never just one. Yeah. It's never just one. No, it's no. always at least three or more. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> so another uh, trailer that we were looking at. That Day Shift. Interesting. Yes. Day Shift with Jamie Foxx. Looks. Snoop Doggy Dog. Looks, looks suspect. And um, who was his other counterpart in that? Dave Franco. Yes. Yes. It looks like it, Ian said it best uh, earlier, uh, could go either way. Yeah. It I looks th- like it could be because you do have Jamie Foxx, who's a tremendous 
actor, Amazing actor. singer, Amazing. comedian. Yep. Can do everything. And James Dave Frank, James Franco. Dave. Dave Franco, his little brother. <laughs> so James Franco. <laughs> 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 not not the one that's canceled. The other guy. Right, right, right. Yeah. Dave Franco. He's been funny. What, what he's James, been funny. What did James do? Oh, there's oh, a bunch of sexual oh, assault yeah. allegations. Oh, oh yeah. God, oh, James. Yeah. James. It, it really looks like what didn't he do? Yeah, he went Dude, into he, the whole well, Me Too era. Like if well, he got smashed. Well, bro, th- have you seen that fuck? One of the worst movies. Like right up there with the Hateful Eight. Like one of the worst movies I've ever fucking seen was Spring Breakers with James. <laughs> <laughs> Never I, seen it, but I don't think no, I want to. You don't watch have it. to. You don't have to. I literally watched it like back when net. Back when Redbox was like. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I watched it at a. Sec- I was at a security. Good job. old Redbox. I literally, I literally slid the fucking disc into my laptop to watch at the guard shack at my job, <laughs> and I'm watching this shit, and I was like, "What the, what the fuck <laughs> is this?" Like I, I turned it off because I was like. It's dog shit. Yeah. I was yeah. like, what the fuck? At one point in time, he was like deep throating a gun. I was like, what? Oh. He looked like Riff Raff. He looked I, like Riff Raff. I did oh. successfully watch the whole movie. I couldn't really tell you anything about it. Really? It was it was the most unforgettable. The Disney girl was or, in it for a little. So forgettable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, Disney yeah. girl was in it for a little. The one that dated, um, oh my God, boy, I can't think of her name. Um, iCarly? No. She was in the movie. That's the only Disney girl I know. <laughs> no. She, she was in it for a little bit, and then she literally like left 15 minutes into the movie because she went home from spring break. That was her, her role. She was there until the fucked up shit So she was happening. basically yeah, there like, for the commercials she was, to put her in the trailer. She was there. Correct. Yeah, she was there for as herself. She was literally like, okay, this movie's getting fucked up. I'm leaving. And, and I'm out. Yep. Yeah, 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 yep. yeah, yeah. I'm going to okay. get your name right now. But no, well, I think I, some of the people behind um, John Wick are behind the the day shift action portion of it at the very yes. least from the trailer, which to me like some of the action sequences looked really good. Selena Gomez. Selena ah, Gomez. yeah, there we yeah, go. There, yeah. Selena Gomez. So I'm I'm hoping that it's a good movie. I mean, to be fair, Snoop Dogg is not the best actor. Everybody loves to see him on the screen. I'm hoping he has a very minimal role as I mean, the- does Ian. But I'm also hoping that. The show delivers maybe where, like, I've been missing, like, a Buffy the Vampire Angel kind of a show in my life where yeah. it's, like, it's a little dark, a little humorous, and it looks like there's it a, could touch those there's a weird if you, if you scroll through Netflix, there is a weird bunch of, like, vampire, new vampire, new werewolf stuff, but it's all from the, um, the young adult Book category, oh. so it's all very much like, uh, like Teen Wolf. Not below. It be, would be below Teen Wolf. Really? Well, um, it would be like uh, Twilight. Okay. Well, those I, I those say, those styles. Much like Game of Thrones left a void in the sword and sorcery genre, right. Twilight left a void in the vampire romance and the twinkle. Yes. Yeah. Twinkle, twinkle. I wish <laughs> some, I, I wish I wish someone would watch me sleep genre. Like, <laughs> No. I forget. The, I forget the one I just recently. It 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 popped up um, as one of the things on my feed. It's a vampire who hasn't had her first kill, and now she has to because she's of age. Isn't the show called and first then it's kill? a Isn't the show called first kill. First kill. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then it's doing. a yeah. a vampire hunter who hasn't had their first kill either. So Maybe we should she fuck. said. <laughs> To kill the Maybe vampire, <laughs> and the vampire is sent makes to kill sense. her, yeah, that and sense. that's they literally what it is. Right. It is, it's a, it's a gay t- teen vampire drama, uh, and they're I they're going against their family's uh, wishes. I love it. So it's I essentially it. Romeo and Juliet with vampire teeth. Yes, mm, I'm, I'm out. In. I'm, in. <laughs> I'm out. I'm out. The last. How many? Romeo- other, how many other shows were there? So many. Yeah. Yeah, this, that's... I feel like every girl I hung out with in the last 10 years has watched Vampire Diaries at some point in time. Like, yeah, like... the originals, Vampire Diaries. Like, but you know what it is? It's the allure of the vampire. Again, right? Vampire Diaries was a book that right. they turned into a show. But vampires are sexy. They're sexual, but they're also dangerous and werewolves morbid. Werewolves are not. Werewolves are not no, supposed to No, werewolves are just <laughs> gruesome. They... No one has sold these sexy werewolves yet. No, yeah. they tried I mean, to. Whoa, 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 hold on a second. They tried to. Hold on a second. One man doesn't count. One man by himself doesn't count. That's it. Gonna, I know he's saying. I was going to say. I know he's saying. Who's the guy in True Blood? Who's the guy in True Blood? Blood. <laughs> no, actually. The, tall, what, the guy, I, that, the guy that uh, Sofia Vergara is married to. That fucking yeah. guy. He was a sexy word. That's it. Uh, okay, and that's no. it. That's, your I wasn't going to say him. I wasn't going to say your him. Your list is one. I was going to say bitten. 
you have not seen the show Bitten, What's Bitten? where the lead show of uh, the vampires is a woman. Blonde, werewolves. V- werewolves. Woman, <laughs> blonde. But it's a fantastic show, actually. One of my favorite werewolf shows. She's also the only female werewolf, so sausage fest. Oh, but- Jesus. <laughs> werewolf gangbang? She, she does it. <laughs> <laughs> Great show. Actually, Great show. That I mean, I don't know. Like Vampires have always been like more sexual. Like They lock sure. eyes, eyes contact. They seduce yeah. you. With, like, mag- there's like Listen, a magical mystique. They're usually fair looking. Tom Cruise was a fucking... Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. <laughs> I mean, come Brad on, Pitt. man. Antonio yep. Banderas. The done. same movie. Done and the, done. The Brad, same. Brad Pitt, Tom Cruise, Antonio Banderas, long hair. Woo! Don't bring your girlfriend to that movie. No. <laughs> you're all leaving. guys. You're leaving. All the guys movie night. <laughs> you're leaving single, buddy. You're leaving single. Like, what do you mean you're not up that all was the night shit back in the day. sucking blood out of necks? Get the fuck out of my house. There was also like a weird little like tiny kid, Kirsten Dunst. Yeah, like, that's, yeah that was weird. Yeah, that was so, weird. That movie was excellent. Again, a classic. Movie, Interview with a Vampire. Yep. Yes. Queen of the Damned was a good sequel. Not a great sequel. They tried. But it wasn't terrible. Good soundtrack. It, no, great soundtrack. You got yep. Aaliyah in there. Song written by Disturbed. Yeah. Performed by Korn. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no. Yeah. It, a little a little odd because on the album, Disturbed does it, but at the movie, Korn does it. It's a whole weird thing. It was yeah. a weird it's thing there. Yeah. copyright and other nonsense. But I, the I'm, song was called Forsaken. That's exactly what you're yes. talking about. Yeah. I'm due for some good vampire werewolf show, so I'm hoping it delivers. But Let's make it's one. up in the air. Let's it's make up, one. It's up in the air. It's Let's film one. Why don't we do it? <laughs> <laughs> There's a market for it. No, listen, you've been trying to get us to film with you, Ian, for quite some time now. Listen, you guys. No means no. I have an idea. Sir, no means no. You guys should shave your body hair, <laughs> glue it onto me, and I'll be the werewolf. <laughs> You had me for like 30 seconds. I was like, shave my body hair? You Continue, shave your... and then you're like, glue it onto me. <laughs> so you shave your body hair, so now you're the I'm... vampire. You're the vampire now. And I'm out again. You're a hairless yeah. vampire. And I'm out again. Hear me out. <laughs> oh, we heard you. You're a vampire we with alopecia. You. You're about... <laughs> A vampire with alopecia. Will Smith is going to walk in this room and slap you in the face, sir. I deserve it. I fuck no, the man. market. Is, the market is crying out for this show. We can do it. Yes. You know what? You can do it. Sofa, <laughs> Sofa Kingdom Productions. Starting it right now. I am out. <laughs> I quit before production starts. Margo could be the real one. She could be. Have you seen her back? <laughs> With no prosthetics. No prosthetics. No hair implants. Just, just lum- straight up. Lumbers onto the set. Oh. All you need is bad lighting. That's a fucking weird one. <laughs> That's ah, a God bless you. Shit. God bless you, Marco. Oh, uh, man. Were there any other trailers that were missing? Uh, that was all the trailers. Okay. But before- Miss Marvel did finish wrapping yes. up. So, yes. Okay. Still Again, Miss Marvel. Not a for us show, a nope. teenager show, a coming of age show, done well. Um, I liked it because I'm I'm all about all the Marvel stuff. But I will tell you what I did like about it more than the actual show itself, which I didn't think was bad, was they deep dived a little bit into the Indian culture. Yes, and so there was a lot of cool things that I got to learn about Indian people as a whole and their culture and their community that I mm-hmm. thought was dope. So they really did play that in to the show in a way that didn't feel forced. Either. Are they are they Indian or are they Pakistani? Uh, Indian Pakistani. It, 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 they're very it, similar. Yes. Yeah, yeah, they, they 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 literally go all the way into when um, India was was given back by Britain, mm-hmm. and the dividing line happens where you have Muslims going one way and to everything Pakistan, like that. To Pakistan, so, and yeah. then yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, when you watch it, they they literally. Go through apart, with with apartheid, all of that. I believe it's called. Was it not called a apartheid? not apartheid? It's it, it's Man, I drawn a blank. Know. Something different. Apartheid was in uh, Africa, but it was a. It, the, so they even show what happened with the family when when all of that was going on oh, and how that broke the family lines and 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 everything like that in the culture and Eng- all that. England's always got to be fucking with somebody. Yes. Oh yeah. Uh, the Marvel. I'll I'll look it up later. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, no, but it it was done. America well. would never do that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I I thought the show was was excellent. I know it was hey, supposed bro, to draw. Why you hiding them chips over there? Oh, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know it was supposed to draw in a a little, sorry, a little love a sorry. younger crowd. I don't know how much of a younger crowd it brought in because I know my own daughter. 
she watched one episode and then she didn't. But again, she's younger, right? Yeah. But it's for the tweens, I would say, mm. right? Mm, perhaps. Um, it lost me at like episode four. Mm. There's only six episodes. Yeah, it's so it's worth definitely watching the last a, two. A All right, I'll take a look at it. Um, just to see, especially the end cut scene spoiler coming up. We haven't watched it, but she shows two things. The two things that they bring into the show that are important. One, they touch base on that she might be a mutant. Yep. Huh? Okay, so they're trying to bring the mutants into the universe. No, and she's supposed to be an inhuman. And there was a big uptick in Inhumans when the Marvel movies were owned by Fox. Mm -hmm. So what happened was they didn't want to make any more mutants. So she was in that era of any new powered person is automatically Inhuman. inhuman. Oh, so she was she was in that category. So it's unknown if she was intended to originally be a new mutant. And they made her Inhuman just to not be giving another character to Correct. Fox during all that whole time. But they, they, they touch on it, but they don't give an exact thing. Because even if she was an inhuman, I think she would still show up with the way he's like, well, you have your DNA is different. There's a mutation. Right. Right. So it, it leaves it open for interpretation until they decide to. Uh, As opposed to that, 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 out. that one guy who played the elf in the ring, Lord of the Rings trailer. We know he's a, uh, an inhuman. Will Ferrell? <laughs> no, Quentin Tarantino's son. Will, Will Ferrell. <laughs> Will Ferrell's in it? You sit on a throne of lies. <laughs> <laughs> Delivered. <laughs> that was no, bad. Um, that was the bad. second the second one was they introduced a new power where she switched places with Captain Marvel. Yes. Hmm. So it now this is something that does play off in the comics, and I I, I believe in the comics, uh, Captain Marvel was in the negative zone looking for the other bangle or was in possession of the other bangle. Mm -hmm. And when she came in contact, they switched places. So then she has to go find, mm -hmm. she's like, well, why am I here now? I need to get back over there. And that's right. when they, so that should be leading into the Marvel's right. movie, which would be, you know, Captain Marvel, Miss Marvel, uh, Maria Rambo. Yes. Uh, John Rambo's sister. Yes. Sure. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Less machine guns, but yes, yes. Got it, got and, it. and 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 if they do go with the negative zone thing, that could be a way to introduce the Fantastic Four, mm -hmm. unless they're they take it from a different aspect. There, there's people speculating that the bangle is also related to the rings um, from the Ten Rings. So like, yeah, exactly. Oh. So there's a whole that could be dope because I think I think there's supposed to be Cree technology. So mm -hmm. what if you put on all 10 rings, both bangles and the Infinity Gauntlet? You got a bad motherfucker. <laughs> I mean, as you, long... got, you got the you got the host of the sofa getting the podcast motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> you'd, be, <laughs> you'd probably be pretty heavy. You'd be pretty heavy at that point. Yeah. You'd be weighed down. <laughs> if you work out. <laughs> no, but um so there's some interesting thing coming down the pipeline. The one thing that I have been a little concerned with is that they did all this setting up with the multiverse, and I'm still waiting for some of that payoff. I'm still waiting for some more Kang action. I thought he would play a bigger role thus far and hasn't. Um, and I'm looking to see, I'd, I'd like to have seen a little Loki somewhere. Yeah. Uh, Loki's one of my favorite characters. Uh, He's I always up to no good. Do you think maybe Marvel is... Too big. Maybe I it's think to get I think they're saving Kang for more Loki. Still better than DC. And then By a lot. and yeah, yeah, and yeah. and then they'll maybe bring him to a conclusion. I don't think they're gonna bring Kang to the movies until it's going to be a conclusion. Mm. I think Kang may may stick with the miniseries and then make it eventually to the big screen. Yeah, I, I thought he was going to be much bigger only because they were like, oh, there's all these different versions of him. So essentially you could knock one off like a, a, a Doctor Strange yeah. and still have to contend with another. You, you could be dealing so, with one in every movie. And that could be that could be fucking sick. Another, another movie or TV show that I feel that they kind of like set by the wayside is the uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Like, yeah, I feel like they did a lot of setting up with that show. And I know a lot of people don't put it on their top tier list. To me, I loved it. Yeah, I thought it was like a good buddy cop superhero. I like the two characters as a whole. 
I like what they're doing with Sam Wilson and bringing him into the Captain America role. It is something they did <coughs> in the comics. Yeah. But um, I haven't seen anything from them It's either. going to be a movie is what it is. So he's he is Captain America now. So his next project isn't going to be Falcon. It is Captain America. Um because they, they've already mentioned they're doing another Captain America movie. And the first thing that the press did was, cool, you're the star now. Hey, you, Chris Evans, what do you think about the next Captain America movie? Do you want to be in it? And he was like, I would ruin the fact that they sure. moved and gave this man the shield. Sure. If I'm in his first movie as Captain America. A little disrespectful. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he yeah. literally said that would be disrespectful. And they already have a new Falcon. If people are paying attention in the comic books... The person that is set up to take his place is the, I don't know his name, unfortunately, the Spanish kid that played alongside him mm -hmm. as his counterpart in the series. Oh, okay. The one that got beat up in the beginning. Yeah. yeah. He's supposed to take over as the new Falcon. Uh, Falcon. Okay. Let's do it. Let's um, do it. And I'm, I'm all for the uh, American agent, the agent. Uh, oh, yeah. U.S. US agent. agent. I like I, I like that he's well, a bad motherfucker. I, I like that he's the anti-hero kind of Captain America. He's got some powers behind him. I like the actor, too. Yeah. I don't know where I've seen him before. He looks like a dickhead. He sells exactly. it so well. His, even his he face. looks like he was born in Lots <laughs> oh of Hatchie, bro. <laughs> like, like, I just, he's got a real fucking punchable bro. face. It's like, fuck, man. Bro, like, I'm saying, put him in camel. Put him in duck camel. Don't. don't. <laughs> duck camel Captain and a, America. And a, and a wife beater. Yeah. Like, fuck no. yeah, no. bro. Let him grow that beard all the way out here. All the way Stop. Out here. No. Stop it. Stop I, it. You're making give, it worse. Give him a duck whistle. <laughs> <laughs> that could be like his his call before he fucks up the village. A little, he get, he a get, little get, duck whistle, and he's just like parched in a tree. Like he's not even chasing them. He's just waiting for them like a deer. Like just <laughs> in one of those little tree tents. He just we jumps get, down. <laughs> we could put we could put him in the new flash movie. Oh man. Anyone but Ezra Miller. You know what? I take that back. Yeah. Let's fair. touch on this. Not not anyone. <laughs> this is this is this is gonna be a little a little soft for some people. But and it's nothing against this community as a whole. Toughen up, Buttercup. But I think <laughs> that they are talking. It's in discussion. It's not made solvent yet. I don't want to think it's they. I think it's probably one person at the office. That, yeah, that yes. tweeted something. Um, was it an official announcement or was it like fan so. speculation? There's been several articles from different. It's a, I, it's I don't want to say reliable or reputable news sources. It's no. about as confirmed as Bruce Campbell taking over Rockman. Yeah. Okay. Let's okay. put it that way. Yeah. So, so it's, so it's, they're as, talking it's about, as good as the Daniel Radcliffe for Wolverine for the last yes. 10 years. Yes. Yeah. Got it, got it, got it. Got it's, got it. It's, yeah. it's them discussing Elliot Page yep. from Umbrella Academy, who in that role, fantastic, Absolutely. love it, yep. killing it. Juno hated the movie, loved the actress at the time, actor now. now. I don't want to see him play the flash i think it's a yeah. terrible fit and has nothing to do with the person um and what she represents he represents google it has barry to do allen with and then google elliot page elliot yes. page playing barry allen because homework. it just doesn't make I sense i think i think part of the problem is they're 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 looking for someone that looks similar to ezra to miller ezra miller to take because ezra miller already doesn't look like barry allen <laughs> try try fucking mars <laughs> yeah <laughs> So <laughs> just go away from that. So look. If, if you look at the bone structure Mark. of the face, you're like, all right, similar bone structure. I get that, but that's not the Flash. It's definitely not the Flash. I no, but see. even the Flash in the I movies mean. wasn't very much like the Flash. No, he no, was no. he was he was very much more like the Ezra Miller than he was the Flash. Yeah, yeah. And, they, they went a whole different direction with Barry Allen, and it was like, what the hell is? And this? And again, like, go Grant Gustafson. Yeah, W B. <laughs> well established or CW yeah. well established are... veteran of the flash I have heard that multiple times when yeah I, they, I say it they're like why don't they use the guy I think he's people, fantastic I think people he are petitioning for him to for him to be given the role more we've deserved already, we've already seen that a good fan base like Marvel did it like if, if a show is good enough, mm -hmm. the character can transcend into the film world. We saw it with Correct. Daredevil yes. yes we saw it in Spider-Man he Correct. was in there yeah. John Bernthal would be Perfect to continue oh as the God. Punisher. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, yes. At this point in time, I don't see anyone else as yeah. the Punisher. Yeah. He killed it. The only like, thing with, with that is I really want them to start pushing those shows out. Like, you mm. got the properties now. 
drop some shit. I think they're yeah. going for a. They're talking about rebooting the Defenders. The, I think it's yeah, hard to put the Punisher on Disney Plus. Though. I think I that's, mean, they that's already what got they're... them on there. They've tested that water, you know, yeah. for a couple of months now. I think that's what... on there. Yeah, the Punisher yeah, yeah, yeah. is all, all of the mainstay. Netflix Marvel shows are on there now. Yes. What, what kind of disclaimer do they put? Well, on? they added. They, they said, <laughs> "Do watch this with your dad. Don't watch this with your yeah. mom." <laughs> That's the disclaimer. Well, they, episode <laughs> one has sledgehammer murder. Yes, How they, do we... they had. Um, they literally mother committees fighting it. Yeah, they literally everything. the day they released those shows, they did a massive um, update to Disney giving parental controls for the children's accounts say, to prevent them from watching you, certain things. You, you don't want yes. you don't want little Susie watching Luke Cage bash Jessica Jones's guts in. <laughs> or, do or, or, <laughs> or do you? Or do you? Or do you? I thought you were going to go a different route with that. Oh no. But oh now no. that I see what you did there, no we do not. <laughs> I went full porn hub. Yeah, yeah. Oh sorry. yeah, you did. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, you did. But, no, yeah. I thought you were going to go like they don't want to see the kingpin smash Smashing somebody's skull. Oh, I don't, don't want to see, like, see the kingpin what? smashing anybody. No. Yo, no. I'm excited no. for him to come back, too. They say he's been jacking up in the fucking yep. gym, too. Better than jacking off. And <laughs> so, to be determined. <laughs> they're resetting the defenders. <laughs> Jeez, Ian. Damn. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's, a, it's, it's the sun chips. It was the sun bitch. chips. I'm sorry. It was, yeah, the, they are delightful. They were they? delicious. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. Harvest, the harvest cheddar. It's Cooler's good. Light. Yes, brought to you by yeah. Cooler's Light and Sun Chips. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> sorry. Not that we're sponsored by. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Label out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Label facing yeah. me. Coors Light. <laughs> Goes great with sun chips. In Harvest Cheddar and Garden Salsa. Oh, it was quite they, delightful. They do mix pretty well. Yeah, they do. They do. They do. It was very good company. But yeah, they're talking about resetting the defenders. They haven't said anything about. Um, resetting the individual shows. I think they're going to use the defenders to reset mm -hmm. the or shows. adjust the characters okay. to what they want them to do. So they can, that way, they can adjust all the characters in one shot on one miniseries right. versus doing four separate shows and resetting everybody so individually. I have something that I want to discuss with you guys. Okay. And this, this is a that, positive, positive note here. Positive last note, last, positive last note. time me and you were double teaming a dwarf. So. <laughs> This historically doesn't bode well for me. No, here. no. you no. are correct. No. You want to me? You want to me and Ed fucking sigh? Yeah, right? there, there oh. is one show that I watch that is grotesque, hilarious, delivers on the content, gets better every fucking season. Jersey Shore. Edward refuses to watch it. It's the boys. Oh, I don't refuse. I just haven't had the time. No, no, no. That's refusal, <laughs> sir. You refuse to watch. I refuse to watch uh, the boys. Uh, Firefly. So that's all right. Even your brother said it was a good show. What Firefly? Yes. Yeah, he did. He, said he did. He, he gave. It. Listen, if, if Ian's brother says it was I, right, that is like a ten yeah. in everyone else's category. <laughs> he's, a, he's a critical fuck. He is. A, yes. <laughs> And we love him for it. But the boys, this season... I hated Thor, Love, and Thunder, by the way. <laughs> oh, 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 not just the fight scene, the whole movie? No, he, uh, thought, it was good, he thought it was a good movie. Yeah, yeah. That scene killed it for him. That scene killed it. Yes. I'm sure it killed it for a lot of people, yeah. But um, the boys do... I, I still have to watch the season finale. But up into the episode seven that I've seen... How about that episode one of season three? Oh, my... That, how, about, how about that? Episode one how about that? is probably the greatest, worst introduction to any show that I have ever seen. Holy fuck. <laughs> Spoiler. Um, it's the hero gasm episode, isn't it? No, no, no. no. Is, that, is that episode that's, two? That's, 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 there's a hero termite. That's like, that's like the climax yeah. to this this whole yeah. episode. There's a, there's, a hero, there's, a, there's, a hero, there's a hero named Termite. Termite. And his power is kind of a parody of Ant-Man. Right? Correct. Like, he can change size. Ah, yes, yes, yes. And they go to a party at his house, uh -huh. and he's in a dollhouse, like, fucking a Barbie doll. Right. right. And that's, then he, oh, that's not the bad part. No, 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 that's hold, a joke. That's him on. as a joke. That's him as a joke. Hold on, sir. Then he gets, like, he gets, like real big. He gets like real big and he's like make, he's like you know be, he's naked because he can't change size in his clothes. Right. So like he gets real big, then he gets down to size. Well, apparently he's got a boyfriend. Right. And his boyfriend's like, oh, let's go in the other room. So they go in the other room. This is horrible, by the way. Spoilers. It's, oh, it's so bad. <laughs> and you his have boyfriend, a weak stomach. His boyfriend <laughs> leave the room. There's they're in the other room. They're doing fucking coke. And his boyfriend goes, I want you inside me right now. Well, me thinking something else. I was like, oh, man. They, butthole. They're, they're, yeah, that's right. That's I what I thought. Butthole. I thought. I thought disgusting. Butthole. Disgusting, but it has to be butthole. Homie lays his dick on the table. Oh. Termite oh, gets yeah. fucking small. 
crawls into his dick. They show it. They show everything. Oh, yes. There's no mystery. You see the entire thing, whole process. You want to look away. So, <laughs> you want to look away. Crawls into his dick. He's going through his, he's going through his urethra, like touching the walls and shit. <laughs> you ever see, like, like, like when you're in oh, those dude. tunnels, like when <laughs> yeah. you're a kid? And it looks like, like a cave oh. entirely. It's horrible. <laughs> And his boyfriends are like, oh, hurry up, get to my prostate. So anyway, he's going back there. So well, tickle, tickle my prostate. His fucking nose starts to itch because he just did coke. Oh, no. Yeah. So he's in there. He's like, oh, shit. Uh, uh, fucking sneezes, goes back to normal size, blows his boyfriend in half. Ugh. Blows him in fucking half. Guts. I mean, like, guts. Intestines. <laughs> oh, my, he's standing there in the room just fucking soaked. I was like, he starts crying. Holy oh, shit. Geez. Like, up, oh, dude. And then, in, then uh, Frenchie, 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 walks, Frenchie in. walks in. And then. He's like, I did not see nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I did not see nothing. I'm just going to go away. Yeah, exactly. He's like, oh, the no, show, bitch. The show, is, the show is wild as fuck. Yeah. There's never, like, a time in the show where you're like, no. what? Like, it's just... But, it's, Eddie, that is the opening sequence. To season three. <laughs> to season three. And the show just progresses from there. Yeah, it doesn't get any so, less fucked up. It so continues to get fucked entered up. Entered pee hole, exploded body... Ensue villainy. You know what I mean? Like, that was just like. And you what are the correct. Fuck? You are correct, Eddie. That is not the hero gasm episode. Okay. No. That, that episode is still to come. Cause, another cause season. I, I, oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Because yes. I, I, I know uh, coming into this season now, that was a thing that they were talking about. Like, how can we do this episode? Oh, they did it. They did it. They did it. And I would say tastefully, but the show does nothing tastefully. Yeah, exactly. yeah. <laughs> they did it tastefully for the boys. Yes, yes, tastefully they did. for the boys. But you know what? When you watch a show that's as unapologetic as it, but what saves it, what allows them to get away with it is a fantastic cast. Yep. It's a fantastic script. It's delivery. Oh, Homelander. The actors, the actor, oh, dude. Homelander is by far one of the most intriguing characters I've ever seen on TV. And he's unsettling. Yes. He makes very. you uncomfortable the <laughs> entire time. And, but You're like, what is this guy going to fucking do next? And he like, switches gears so quickly. Like, he goes from disturbed sociopath to like, I'm in front of the media. Hey, guys. Hey, kids. This is America. Like Apple when, pie. When you know what I mean? When he's <laughs> smiling into the camera, you fully believe that, okay, that's the actor that beat the fuck out of that chef. Oh, yeah. 100%. <laughs> I 100% can see it. I'm like, that guy's a psycho in real you're, life. He's you're like, that psycho. is Ezra Miller's dad. Yes, right, right there. <laughs> that's the family. That's the family line right there. Yo, imagine if he was. Ooh. Didn't surprise me at all. Listen, me at all. the show delivers from season one to now, and I'm excited to see the finale and then excited to see where they go from here. Yeah. The next stop for me is the cartoon, the animated series, yeah, which I, I haven't seen, seen yet. I haven't seen it either. So I think after this, then I'm going to dive into Diabolical, that. Diabolical, it's called. Diabolical. But I mean... If it has similar writing staff, I'm in. And yeah, it's one of those things like where they like the Animatrix and the Star Wars visions, where they just yeah, give creative yeah. control to certain guys and they make yeah. animated mm, shorts. Interesting. Yeah. Um, an another show that I've really been loving, and like 100 percent is uh, Star Trek: Strange Worlds. Yeah, Strange New Worlds. Strange New Worlds, amazing show, amazing writing, um, the cast, the characters. And they're they're dealing with like iconic characters like James T. Kirk, Spock, uh, Ahura. They um, successfully went backwards in time and are telling stories good enough that I'm not annoyed that they again went backwards in time because that was correct. always my issue. Like, all right, new Star Trek, and we're going to a time when shit was less cool. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Why? Right. Exactly. Exactly. And. <laughs> it, it's exactly what was the Why? biggest criticism for Discovery. Yep. Yeah. Because they set they start off in that time period yep. as like a secret division of the Federation. But then they successfully transitioned into the future. Mm -hmm. in Star a Wars. Seriously dope Star way. Wars is one of the few things that like it goes back in time and it's Star more advanced. Than yeah. <laughs> it's like a, it, Star yeah. Wars always like a long time ago in yeah. a galaxy and far, a land far, yeah. Yeah. far away. Yeah. It's like, wait a minute, wait, back in time we had fucking starships? What? <laughs> what? Lightsabers? What? <laughs> this is yeah. bullshit. Exactly. It's yeah. At least Star Trek, it's like it's in the future. It makes yes, sense. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It, now we have space travel. It's yeah. done extremely well. Every episode I've enjoyed. I like that it, it wraps up in 60 minutes. You know, like the old traditional. Like it has a long story, a story arc that's building out. Yep. But each show, it's its own thing. So, like, you could just sit down and watch an episode and be like, oh, that was cool. Yeah. And you don't have to know yeah. everything Epi that's going it's on. It's episodic, but with serialized characters. Mm -hmm. So, what happened previously 
does affect the character, but not so much that you couldn't just watch the episode and then enjoy the episode for what it is. Yeah. 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 I'm still waiting for one of these like woke directors, like because like Star Wars takes place a long time ago in a galaxy far, far yeah. away. Yeah. I'm still waiting for them to like somehow connect it to Earth. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, like the next, the next like I, Jedi is a troubled kid from Brooklyn. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I can't wait. I can't I'm gonna wait. tell you a show that oddly enough deals with very woke subject matter, but does it well, and it's the Orville. Yes. Yeah. I well, mean, that's because Seth MacFarlane's behind it. He's, he is. He's he genius. is. He he handles the topics so well, and in such a good storytelling fashion that I don't mind sitting through it because I really hate when I feel like shit is being force fed to me, and Disney. I hate like when when you feel like you're sorry, an ignorant sorry, I had something I you're an ignorant child, and you're like, oh, this is how I should think. No, they tell a story and let the stories play out very intelligently. Um, and they deal with modern topics in a way and that they, is clever. And they don't fear leaving sometimes the solution ambiguous. Mm -hmm. they, interpretation. They've had okay. episodes mm -hmm. where you could go for either side. You're like, A is right or B is right. Correct. And they don't necessarily give you the answer right right so they give you everything that leads up to it and then it in and and they had it in i'm thinking of the one particular episode where it ends and but they don't force feed you the answer right but they give you enough of it where you're like oh man they yeah how you, do you choose they give you perspectives yeah this is this side's point of view this is this side's point of view and i mean they've touched subjects with transgender they've touched subjects with suicide the opening the opening episode of this season is a suicide episode. Correct. And it is done so fucking well. That's yeah. a good way to start. They <laughs> deal with uh, politics, even like right, left, like as if we're we're living through it. The boys but they deliver it. The boys last season got real political. Like, it's like the way the way they interpret the superheroes. It's like, like holy pop, shit. Pop, 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 I, pop, heads, pop, pop, I was pop, like, wait a minute, what the fuck? I was like, oh my god. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, so uh, to wrap it up, boys. Um, what's the one trailer that you've seen or show, movie uh, that you're looking forward to? Um, go for it, Ian. I'll let you start. Shit. September, Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power. I think they it looks beautiful cinematically. Mm -hmm. They definitely, whoever's doing the cinematography, it's great. The characters in the trailer looked interesting enough that I want to know what they're about. What's the... What's the plot? And like we okay, we got the the, the sense that there's a great evil coming. Mm -hmm. What's their agenda? Right. Who is involved in it? They have me hooked. Oh. Yeah. I, I I thought this was gonna be a pile of shit, but the trailer looks like it's gonna be something I can dive into, and I can't wait for September to dive into it. Fantastic. And Eddie the Monsters. I no. <laughs> no. 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 You can skip that one. <laughs> no. no, I I, I agreed with Ian and Ian and I I hate to tread on the same ground for the things he just said. And I and I have been very critical of what they have been showing mm -hmm. and the things they do and don't have the rights to. Right. But of anything I think that's coming up that has the most potential, potential to be like a genuinely amazing show. I think the Lord of the Rings has it. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. That's fair enough for me. Just to not say the same thing you guys are, cause I'm fully on board with it. Um, I'm hoping that, uh, this Jamie Foxx show mm. winds up being something funny. Is it, and it's supposed to be a show or a movie. I'm not Day sure. Break or it's a show. It's Day a shift. Show. Day, Day shift. shift. It's a show. Uh, I believe. Um, but, yeah, because I, I like dark humor. I love vampires. Yep. I love Jamie Foxx, uh, James Franco. <laughs> Dave. Dave. Right, yes, yes. Dave. Oh, my bad. Dave. I love James Franco. <laughs> <laughs> and Snoop Doggy Dog might be in there with Martha Stewart killing vampires. That's all I want to see. Him and her together, like, selling some new knives, like, ch -ch -ch -ch. <laughs> Smoke this up, Chiba Chiba, and then they kill a vampire together. I mean, I'm I'm hoping it's I'll a funny I'll, I'll take a look ride. at that. As critical yeah. as I, I will take a look at that. Yeah, I, I mean, that. Lord of the Rings is a gimme. I, I yeah. I'd love to see that, but uh, that's something outside the box. I think uh, I'm hoping to see. So, yeah. Ed, cue the music. Woo. All right, thank you for joining us at the Sofa Kingdom podcast. You can find us on all your social media platforms. Sofa Kingdom OFC. You can find us on YouTube. Sofa Kingdom Podcast. Ian, take it away. 
like, share, leave a comment. Put us in a work email. Tell your friends about us. <laughs> That's right. Listen, it's really important to us that you go out there, you start following our YouTube page, leaving comments, rating us on uh, Spotify, on iTunes. That's how we move up in the rankings. That's how we get other viewers. Leave suggestions. Yeah. yeah. We're like Freddy Krueger. The more you talk about us, the more you think about us, the stronger we become. <laughs> <laughs> That's a scary fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Oi, oi. Oi, oi. <laughs>